Okay, let's just start with this. Um, we've got all of these folders excluded. So I've got everything from app data and all the kind of stuff for track IR for pretty much everything I can think of. My save games folders, tons and tons and tons of different folders. Uh, so I've got everything from Anything I can think of that's DCS related, even OBS or whatever, all that stuff is in there. Uh, now, where we had the games drive, um, the games drive is actually on a different um, drive altogether. And so I just I just selected the entire drive, and I'll show you real quick over here. Um, this is the games drive. Da -da -da -da. Let's go back over here. Whoops. What the hell did I just do? I don't know what the hell I did. All right, anyways. Um, all right, so... In the, in, again, this is a weird thing because I had an old version of DCS and it was open beta when it was open beta and now it's just called DCS World, uh, where it used to be called Eagle Dynamics and then there was DCS World inside there and they had the two different folders, but um, like this, for example. Uh, that's an old folder I probably just need to get rid of, but in the DCS World folder, uh, you will have a couple of different things you'll look for, like for example, your mods, and then you go to aircraft, and then you'll have your F-14. And the F-14, if you go into the bin folder, then you should have your heat blur common DLL. That's the thing that gets uh, killed by the Windows Defender. So how you get that back uh, after you have the exclusions and all that kind of jazz, then you will come up to here and you just go to, let's go back to home. Let's go back to update security. And let's go to Windows security. And then we're going to go to... I believe it's a virus and threat protection. Once that's open, then we're going to go to protection history. And once you go to protection history, you'll find that you've got this right here. It says the threat removed or restored. It says severe. Inside of that, we'll go ahead and click on that. And it'll show you that this is a strange one because there's two of them. And I guess this happened when I was doing a DCS repair, but the repair did not actually solve the problem. What I did do is I deleted um, the entire folder from the same folder I was telling you about, which is here. Okay, I did I went into the, the mods, aircraft, and then just deleted the whole F-14. Then I did the repair for the, uh, uh, which is you got to go to start menu, go down to uh, Eagle Dynamics, and then you'll find this icon where it says repair DCS world. And what I did with DCS world repair, uh, and I don't, I'm not going to redo this, but... Um, I did the all files, which is slow. It takes about 15 minutes or something like that, but it's not too bad. Uh, but it'll re-download the folder, and everything should be good. But when it re-downloads it, if Windows Defender is going to screw it the first time, it's going to screw it the second time. So what you need to do is when you're going in there, um, you basically take this, and you click on the little action, and it'll give you an option to restore it um, to the folder. And once it does, it'll actually go into the 14 it'll drop it into the uh, bin folder, and this is the guy that it was trying to kill. So for whatever reasons, that's what it targeted for absolutely no reason. And it just, now that I did that, I was able to start, get in the F-14, and it was no big deal. But you can see that is what it came up with. This is a Trojan Win 32 S set, whatever. The point is, is this is what had happened, and it happened today, and it happened a couple days ago. I don't know why it's doing it, but that is essentially where to fix that. Uh, so I hope this helped, and uh, check in for some more stuff later.